Alright guys, so in this video we're going to be discussing how to do code splitting with Webpack. Um, before we jump into that, I forgot that I made a mistake in the last video when we were doing the common config. I forgot to update our uh, production config to take use of merge. So if we do merge common and then just add that parenthesis down here. Sorry about that. Let's build it. Make sure this is working. Cool, everything's good. All right, so let's get back on to code splitting. So there's a few different ways you can do code splitting in Webpack, and I'm gonna be showing you the most kind of common way. Uh, the simplest way is this entry points method. Um, but this is, oh, I'm not gonna be covering this. This is really straightforward. You just include two different files in your entry, and then Webpack will just output both of them separately. It's not really code splitting, I don't think, because you're specifically specifying, okay, import this one and then spit it out over here. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a kind of more useful method. And the point of this one is to prevent duplication. So in the example that they show here and the one that we're going to be doing in this video is let's say you have two separate JavaScript files and both of them depend upon and are importing Lodash. If you did not do code splitting, both this index and this another module file would have the entire Lodash library inside of them. So then by doing code splitting, the index and the other module file will just have their necessary code in them, and then the Lodash library will be spit out into its own chunk or its own bundle. And that way it keeps things really clean and it keeps the files really small and it prevents you from having to load a library multiple times and it keeps your bundles and you know your network requests and like the page speed and everything much, much faster. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create another file and then we need to set up our webpack config to import that new file. So let's go back to our code editor. And for the sake of clarity and to make things easier, underneath the source uh, directory I'm going to create a new one just called JS and I'm going to put our index inside of there. Then I'm going to create a new one called sum.js. And we can close these. So let's do index and then sum. Okay, so now back in our webpack common, we need to update our entry here to include both of those files. So if we go here, we go index, the key is gonna be our file name, so index, import, source, JS, index, and then we do depend on shared. Let me duplicate that again. This one's gonna be called sum, our sum file, and then depends upon shared, which is a new key, lodash. So again, it's following this example here. So we have our index file, we have another one, which in our case is called sum, both of these depend on this shared file, which is the Lodash library. Then the most important thing we need to do is tell um, Webpack to split up the chunks. So by adding in this code, it's gonna split the chunks and then every chunk is gonna be split into its own file. So if we go down here, just above plugins, we'll do optimization. Split chunks, chunks, all. Cool, um, so then let's install Lodash. And then we'll go back to our code editor while that's installing and we will just update this import underscore from Lodash. And then I'm just gonna use a simple Lodash function. I'm gonna use the join method. I'm just gonna type this out and then I will explain what it does in just one second. Module load, oop, loaded. Okay, so this is just uh, join is a method or a function that it comes from Lodash. 
And essentially what it's gonna do, it's gonna take this array of these three strings, index, module, and loaded, and join them together and separate them by a space. You could put in a dash or whatever you want, but I'll just do a space. So I'm gonna copy this and put it into my sum file, but I don't need to include the CSS in that file, only the index. Um, so let's go back, let's run the dev server. Uh, yeah, so we're getting an error, and I'm glad we got this because this is uh, a common thing and it's important for you to know. If you read this error, conflict, multiple chunks emit assets to the same file name bundle.js. So what exactly does that mean? Well, if you noticed before um, this video, we were only we only had a single file, so we could hard code this and give it a file name of bundle.js. However, this is no longer viable because now we have an index, a sum, and what if we have 10 different files? They're all gonna be called bundle.js and it confuses Webpack so it blows up and throws an error. Um, but if you remember back in our production config, we can use this syntax here, which is basically a placeholder. So if we go back here and we just do name.bundle.js, now it's gonna output a file for index.bundle.js, sum.bundle.js, and whatever other files. Shared will be one. So you'll see how that works in just a second. Let's run the dev server again. Can't find main.scss. That's right, that's because we moved this inside of a directory, so we need to go one further back. Okay, index module loaded index module loaded and let's change this to say sum so it's a little clear where this is all coming from cool so now both of those are working so I just wanted to do that for testing because obviously in development it's not going to do code splitting so if we do it, the build command now now it should be outputting more files cool and if you see it's got this 486.bundle index.bundle uh, share.bundle, sum.bundle, so let's take a look inside of our dist folder here. Uh, here's our and here's all our various different chunks. There's our sum file, here's our shared bundle, and this 486 is kinda weird. This is actually Lodash. I don't know why it's called 486, but if you look, the 486 license is for Lodash. So by doing this, now we've got all of our files imported and exported into uh, separate files. So this way our main bundle and our index.bundle.js, our sum.bundle, you can see how small they are. These are no longer including Lodash actually within them. They're just gonna reference the main Lodash bundle. So that's pretty much how you do code splitting um, in Webpack. And so for the next video, we're just going to do a recap because that pretty much wraps things up for this course. And um, I've also got some bonus videos that I think you're going to find are really helpful that aren't specific to Webpack, but they're very helpful for um, a lot of modern tools like ESLint and Prettier and uh, Jest for unit testing. So just some tools that I think will help you as you're building out your Webpack starter kits. Um, that don't necessarily have to do with Webpack specifically, but they're tools that you're going to want to use for linting and formatting and stuff like that.